all of Mexico's dime. He's given the go-ahead for the Dakota pipeline. He's filled his pockets through corporate crime and knows at an age that many would say is past his prime. But he's the leader of the free world, which is oxymoronic. This iconic business tycoon suffers from a chronic case of bigotry. He's dragging us down the slippery slope of no hope. He's a racist, sexist, homophobic dope who loves to gloat. He thinks he's invincible and insurmountable, so we need to unite and hold him accountable. We want the truth, not alternative facts, and we won't relax until he shows us all of his tax returns. But he'll never learn because he's too narcissistic. He goes ballistic at the tiniest bit of criticism. So we attack him with our witticism and hit him in the ego as his crony circle jerk around him and hail him as a hero. But we will not be silenced and must continue to shout now that we're living in the dystopian nightmare that the sci-fi novelist warned us about.